Hello everyone. First of all, warm welcome to OIC training by UnoGeeks. In this video, we're going to look at how to create users and assign roles to those users in OIC. Okay. So usually any application has a provision to create users and assign them uh, privileges within the application itself. So for example, if you take ERP Cloud, you will usually log into ERP Cloud instance as a user with uh, sysadmin privileges and you create other users and assign appropriate roles to those users. But in the case of OIC, it works in a slightly different way. So if you go to OIC instance, uh, if you go log into OIC instance, and if you look at the navigation options, you will, you will not find a place where you will find a navigation option to create users or to assign roles. Those, that option is not available in OIC. Then where do you create users? Uh, the users who needs to be able to log into OIC instance should be created in OCI account. So every OIC instance will be supported by an IDCS application which stands for Identity Domain Cloud Service. So you will have to create a user within IDCS application, and then you have to provide, uh, you have to provision rules, uh, roles to that uh, user. So you have to first log into the OCA account. I've given the URL here. Yes, the, the prerequisite for this is, yes, you need to have an OCA account. And if you don't have one, you can, you can refer one of my previous video wherein I have shown you how to create an, a free tier account in three simple steps. Just take in the sign in URL and log into the OCI dashboard. It will prompt you to enter the cloud account name. When you create an Oracle cloud account, you will receive an email with, uh, with the cloud account name and other details. So key in the cloud account name from that. Click on next. Yeah, let me close this browser or oh, let me open an incognito window and try it out. So go with the default option. Uh, you are validating yourself with uh, IDCS application. Just click on continue there and use a single sign on option. in the username and password. And sign in. And the navigation to, or to access the IDCS application is, okay, let me close these two options or banners. Go to click on the navigation bar, scroll down, Go to governance and administration section and under that you have identity. Under identity, again, you have something called as a federation. Click on it. And you will be able to see the Oracle Identity Cloud Service, which will be supporting all the applications that you're going to, or all the applications or the services you're going to procure from Oracle Cloud. So this acts as a single central uh, identity cloud service, which will support all other applications. So to launch it, you just have to click on it. You will have a console URL in there. Just click on it. And it will take you to an IDCS admin console. I've logged in as an, uh, add an, as an IDCS administrator, and I'll be able to see all the options that are available in here. So at the moment, there is only one uh, user available in the instance or created in the instance. You, you see a few applications, groups, and logins. And if you want to create a new user, or if you want to look at the other options, click on the navigation option. If you click on users, you will be able to see the list of users that exist in the instance. And you can group the users. And this groups in particular helps you when you want to give certain privileges. 
say for example when you give uh, when you want to give a set of privileges say uh, 200 users instead of assigning those privileges to each and every user you will assign those users to a group and to that group you give those uh, privileges that you want to that you want to assign okay in here go to oracle cloud services and if you scroll down you will be able to see the a dev oic instance that we created in the previous uh, demo right so in case you haven't seen seen the previous video uh, yeah in the previous video i've shown you how to create a, a new oic instance and in that video we created this dev oic instance you will be able to see this uh, see the uh, oic instances here so click on the dev oic instance and if you go to the last tab users you will be able to see the see the users who can log into this OIC instance, a dev OIC instance. And I have that application open here. I have the dev OIC instance open here. Okay. And for a user to be able to log into this a dev OIC instance, it needs to be created as a user under this IDCS application. So this in this Oracle Identity Cloud service, you go to Oracle Cloud Services, select your OIC instance, and you don't do it at the application level. You create uh, create the user first here, and then you come here and assign those users uh, to the application or to the OIC instance. And if you if you if you look here, there is only one user at the moment who can log into this OIC instance. And if you go to role uh, role section in OIC, you've got seven roles available. Seven roles available in OIC. The two roles uh, which are uh, quite important are service administrator role, which is basically an administrator role. And you have a service developer role, which is, uh, which is uh, typically assigned to all the OIC developers. So if you, so these two roles are quite important. Uh, so if you, join uh, any oracle integration cloud team you will and if you are re responsible for building oic components be it integrations or vbcs or pcs applications you will be assigned this service developer role and in case you have to also perform some administrator related activities you might also have this service administrator role assigned so to, to the user that that exists in this uh, oic instance yes he has been configured as a a service administrator here and if you want to quickly figure out whether the user with which you have logged into oic instance does have an administrator access or not how can you easily figure it out if you click on this navigation bar if you see this settings option that means the user who has logged in into oic instance has the service administrator role assigned if you don't see it that means or probably a service developer role would have been assigned You've got a few other roles as well. Uh, say, for example, if you want to give uh, some users access to the OAC instance or, or, or say, a VBCS application that you have built, but they, sh they should just have a monitor access or invoker access or a viewer access, you can assign those appropriate roles. So in case you're more interested about uh, uh, how, uh, what, what are the nuanced differences between those, between the other roles that are available, you can go through the URL that I've given in the PPT. Okay, you just, or, or else you just go to Google and type in Oracle integration cloud roles and privileges. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and create a new user now. How do you create it? Go to users. Add a new user. Give it a name. You can say user one, and I'll say, Let's look at the existing user. Okay, create a new one. Let's say user one and the last name. You can use, you know, geeks. Enter the username or email. So you can probably say
user one at the rate you know geeks.com click on next and you can assign the user to the groups as appropriate so you can you can leave it blank or you can if you want to or make this user as an IDCS administrator or OCA administrator. You can you can assign them, uh, assign user to those, uh, or assign user to those groups. But it's purely optional. You don't have to do it. Click on finish. You have the user created, and you have the email, and the user is active at the moment. And if you want to reset the password at any point in time, you can uh, uh, administrator can come here. And if the user gets logged out, uh, you he can he can use this reset password option to unlock the user. And now that we have this user created, let's go back to the Oracle Cloud Services. Go to the OIC instance, Dev OIC instance. Go to users list, and you can add in the user here. So we have created uh, the, the user one at the rate, you know, geeks.com user. And I want to give this user a developer access to this, uh, to the to the OIC instance, a dev OIC instance. So I go to Oracle Cloud Services. Go to dev OIC instance. Go to users. You won't have an option to add in the user here. Uh, you go to application roles. And I want to give a user one at the rate, you know, geeks.com, a service developer role uh, so that he can log into this OIC instance and perform the uh, uh, the developer or, or, or he can develop the components in within OIC. So I click on this menu option, assign users, pick up the user one that you have created, click OK. And that's how you assign roles to the users. So after you assign roles to the users, if you want to add in any additional roles, you can do that as well. So if you want to make the user administrator, you click on this, click on assign users. And since Prasad is already an administrator, it is grayed out. And if you want to make even the user one as, uh, as a service administrator, you can pick him up, click okay. And user one becomes a service administrator if you do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, and try to log into the instance as uh, as uh, user one at the rate oic.com sorry at, at the rate you know geeks.com so to log into the oic instance as user one we need to have a password right uh, so what would have happened is when you created this user, an email would have been sent out uh, to the email address that you have mentioned here. And since you uh, mentioned a uh, use username as email address, it got copied over here. But you can overwrite this, so you can you can probably change it to an email address which you have got access to. You can probably type in your own personal email in there, and you can save update the user. And after you update the user, you click on reset password here. And when you click on reset password, it asks for your confirmation. Just click OK. And you get a confirmation message uh, saying that an email has been sent out to uh, this particular email account. So let me log into that email account and get the password. Okay, I've logged into the uh, I've logged into my email account uh, info at red, you know, geeks .com, and I've received an email uh, and it's asking me to reset the password. So I click on reset password option here. And I'll be able to set the password which I can use to log into uh, the OIC, dev OIC instance. I will use Yeah, type in a password which is uh, a complex one and click on reset password and you can continue to sign in 
or you can probably launch the OS instance again and you can try to sign into it. Since we have already signed in, signed in as press or the direct, you know, geeks.com, it's not prompting us to sign in again. Let me copy this URL and open it up in a different browser. key in the username and password, and you can sign in. And once you sign in, yes, you will be able to develop the components uh, within OIC. So you can build integrations of PCS applications or VBCS applications. So since this user has got only the service developer role and not the administrator role, you, do, you don't get to see the settings option here. So if I take you uh, to the other session, wherein I have logged in as a, a user with admin access, you get to see the settings option. So this, uh, this is a quick way to find out whether the user has a admin access or not. So this is how you create a user in OIC and assign roles uh, to that particular user, okay? So in the next video, I'll explain what exactly is Oracle Integration Cloud what services are available in there or what cloud services are available and what you can build with the help of those cloud services. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, in case you are interested in Oracle Integration Cloud Training by InnoGeeks, you can reach us uh, in any of these ways. So you can, you can give us a call or just drop a note. Or if you want to know more about our training course, you can visit our website. Thank you, guys.